is a Weatherford Frack Iron Trailer. This is their three inch uh, design. It's got primarily three inch iron for it uh, with some two inch for, for flowback. Um, we've got 10 foot straight joints up here on the top deck. Uh, two per tier for each swing rack design or assembly. Uh, we've got hydraulic landing gear. We've removed the manual crank landing gear and put stabilizers on it for the crane that will act for stabilizers for the crane as well as landing gear for the truck. Um, up in the center we've got the power pack which runs the crane. You do not have to have a wet kit on your truck uh, to be able to run the crane. So you can actually drop the trailer and, and leave with the truck and operate the unit as its own self-contained uh, self unit. Uh, on the lower deck, we've got 15 foot straight joints, two per tier. Uh, below the trailer, we've also got 15 foot, three inch straight joints. Below deck here, we've got a combo rack that will hold either three or four foot section, uh, sections of straight joint and two foot sections. So you can kind of combo it up depending on what type of iron you have there. Uh, above body deck here, we've got a check valve holder. You can put either check valves in here or T's. They've got check valves in it now and it holds six per basket. Of course, the basket is removable. Um, up in the center, we've got swivel baskets or chicks and baskets. Uh, each removable rack is going to hold chick, uh, six swivels. Uh, in the center here, we've got a single rack made for their N2 valve or their pop-off valve. Here we've got wheel ground valves. Got a rack made for each individual piece. Below body, back here, we've got two inch swivels or two inch chicksons. You can get uh, five per, per rack. At the back, we've got our 40 by 60 baskets for all of our miscellaneous items. We're going to go in these two. Got a capacity of 2,000 pounds per box. And of course we have our Pow Finger Knuckle Boom. This is a model PK32080. It's got 47 foot of hydraulic outreach or boom, and it'll handle 3,950 pounds fully extended at 47 foot. We've got our power box, our main crane controls, and our outrigger controls. Got our cast, our uh, UHMW DICA pads with holders for them to use underneath our stabilizer and outrigger legs. A above body swing rack that'll hold four foot sections of three inch straight joint. And then the underneath side, underbody, is all going to be their flow back two inch iron. Okay, we've got our John Deere power pack with, which provides uh, power to our crane. We've got a battery disconnect down here, which I'm going to turn on. I'm going to start the engine. Now we're ready to go back and run our train. That's it. That's it. Now I'll cut it off so we can talk a little bit what we have up here. Here, of course, we have our John Deere diesel engine. Um, we've got our hydraulic tank for our crane. It's a 53 gallon hydraulic tank. It's got a sight glass here, which has got a temperature uh, as well as a sight gauge in it to where you can tell if it's, if it's full. Um, right below, right beside it here, we've got our hydraulic oil cooler, which the oil cooler is gonna come on with the, when the oil temperature reaches approximately 110 to 120 degrees. And it will run continuous until that oil temperature comes back down below 110. Diesel tank down here. Uh, I believe it's uh, around 50 gallons. Um, and right beside here, we've got our toolbox, toolbox which is going to 
have our charger for our radio remote, extra battery, as well as this is where they'd put the um, radio remote radio remote controls. Okay, now we'll All fire right. it back up. We'll head down and run the crank. <laughs> 